Kurt Russell's most underrated movie was Used Cars. Directed by uh, a young Steven Spielberg. I, I don't think he, I think he was maybe a co-producer or a co-director. What was it about? It was about um, used car. Roy L. and Luke Fuchs, played by Jack Warden. He played a dual role in that movie and, and, and might say a very good one. Miami. <laughs> Miami. Yeah, Miami. Had to get to Miami Beach. Yeah, he took the Edsel. Had another gentleman named Garrett Graham, or is it Graham Garrett? I want to tell you. He had one of those two. He had two last names for a name. Um, yeah, and I think he also had Lenny and Squiggy from uh, Laverne and Shirley in that. Uh, the one guy that was in the uh, great Spinal movie. Tap. Great movie. Okay, let us get into movie. our. Uh, uh, which one do you want to talk about first, Shade? You want to talk about uh, SmackDown, Raw? You running the show, Boz. Or. Um, don't matter. Dynamite. Uh, Rampage. AEW. And, you know, of course, everyone's talking about the CM Punk. Press a punk bomb. Um, I guess now, Shade, they're starting to have press conferences after wrestling matches now, like they, like they would do the MMA and some of the other, and the boxing. Yeah, I've I mean, seen more and more of that. Arena, right now. Which actually is, is actually a pretty good idea. You know, I saw, uh, you know, Triple H did that during the, after the uh, Clash at the Castle, which worked yeah, out pretty he did. good. You know, he comes out with the wrestlers and, and, and some, of the, some of the wrestlers, and he sits and, and, and addresses questions from the press, the wrestling press, Wherever they may be, whoever they may be, you don't really have to. You can actually you can plant your own people out there. I guess if you wanted to, if you, I mean, it's all a show. Unless I mean, let's all just come to terms with it. It's all a show, but it's it's entertaining. We love it. It's uh, if you look on uh, YouTube and some of the other social media platforms, wrestling shows. Outnumber, yeah, you know, they four to one. CM Punk, and I, I have to take it more at face value because I used to be in that business a long, long time ago. My thing was, you know, when you sit there and you let one of your wrestlers sort of, I don't know how to say it, I really don't know how to say it undress you in front of other people about your company. I don't like that. Uh, well, first of all, I don't like CM Punk to start with. I think he's a mediocre wrestler at best. I think he he's kind of in business, as they say, for himself. I think he He's just kind of a show dog and always has been. But he said some things about AEW that. Yeah, you know, I, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Tony Khan should have looked over and told him, hey, man, you've got a problem with me. You need to, you need to talk to me behind closed doors. You don't need to get out there in front of everybody and undress me, my company, in front of, in front of all that. You're trying to show dog now, dog. Well, you know, Shade, I, I like CM Punk because he, I guess because he's old, kind of old school, and he is, according to him, trying to help some of the young up-and-coming in that company. <clears throat> Now, for him to go out there and sit next to his boss and, like you said, quote, boss undress him, I, I don't man. know that he, he did that. Did. 
You know. We um. Do. We. I know, but I yeah, still, but, you've got to. It's something like that. You don't know what's going to come out of someone's mouth. Uh, I know, uh, shade, but this it's 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 you can't harness someone you just if it's going to be a presser. Punk. It's going to be right. you're going to want them to state their the truth of what they want to say. What's going on in, in the dressing room with the boys, and what's going on with with with, yeah, with other but stuff? When you start singling out people in the it's in the true. dressing room. Like uh, Paige and and MJL and Colt Cabana, all them other guys that you have to work for and around, not working for them, working around them, working with them, you're supposed to be bringing them up to your level. And that's where I have a problem with Punk. Is his being arrogant enough to do that? Yeah, I mean, you know, and. MJF is is their future, in my opinion. The guy is great on stick. He's he's good. He's a good wrestler. He's I mean, you know he's not a great wrestler, but you don't have to be. He's like a Roddy Piper type. Piper wasn't the best wrestler, but he could talk the bullshit and he could get things done and he could he could piss people off. That's what you want. You talk about heel appeal. That is heel appeal right there. Exactly. Well, I agree with you on that because, you know, Stone Cold never, I don't think he was ever really a good guy, you call him, or, or a face. But he, even being the, the heel, people loved him. And that's kind of where uh, uh, MJ Jay, is. Jay, who are some of the old school talents that never, you, you never saw as a heel? Well, right off the bat, that, that, I'd have to say probably. Steamboat, Dusty Rhodes, uh, some of the Armstrongs I never I never seen as 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 heels. Then again, as some of the heels I never seen as faces. Do you think when they come into the to the companies that the guys sit down and with them and say, "Well, you got a you got a heel appeal as a heel, or you have a face appeal as being a face." That's always kind of intrigued me by, uh, well, okay, when you wrestled, what were you, were you a heel or a face? Well, I never was really in a, in a big company either. Um, so I, I was kind of on my own. I was an, I was an indie, indie wrestler. So I, but when I wrestled, I was usually a heel most of the time. But I was a job, I was doing jobs, and you know, and just but wouldn't win nothing. So you spend most of your time looking up at the lights, right? <laughs> I was laying down the L's, man. Laying uh, down the L's. Yeah, man, I could tell you about it, but lot I counted every lot in them them little uh, schools along out west. So you wasn't winning any um matches. Well let me ask you a kind of a personal question, uh if you don't mind. Who was the most famous talent that you wrestled? And did you win or lose or